Hey guys, my name is Doug with OEMAutopartsCo.com. Today we're working in the new body Ram truck, um, 2013 plus. Um, this probably looks very familiar to a lot of you. Anybody with the 1500 all the way up to the 5500 um, has this exact same um, dash setup. Um, today I'm going to show you guys all the different upgrades that Ram has to offer for factory, factory radios. Um, there's an RA1 3.0, an RA2 5.0 Uconnect radio, then there's the 8.4 inch RA3 8.4A radio, and then the navigation, the top dog, is the RA4, and that's the 8.4 AN Uconnect radio. We have solutions to upgrade to all of those, so let's get started. Here we have the RA1 installed. This is the factory plane radio that comes in the Ram trucks. Um, you know, you get your AM, FM, XM. You know, media, if you have that connected through your USB, you'll get it there. Info, um, your basic presets. This is just the basic standard radio that Ram has to offer. So let me show you how to remove this dash bezel so we can access the uh, screws that hold it in so we can upgrade to the RA2 next. We're going to want to first start out by uh, turning off your vehicle. And up above here, um, you'll notice T20 screws. It's the Torx T20. You'll have two up here and then one in this little cubby down here. Holding in the radio is a 7 millimeter nut or uh, bolt. You use a socket for that. And then to remove um, this bezel surrounding the, the 8.4 inch radios if you decide to do that, um, you're going to want to use a Phillips head screwdriver. To remove the bezel, you can use a trim stick, uh, you could use a flathead screwdriver, or what I usually do in the Ram truck is I'll just pull it from this cubby up here and it'll snap out of place. There's then a few connectors in the bottom of the bezel. You just wanna remove those. If you do have the rotary gear shifter, there's a locking red tab on it that you just need to slide up and then you could just press it and it unplugs. That'll give you access to the four seven millimeter screws. Now on the back of the radio, you'll notice some connectors. The yellow, the yellow curry color connector is a FACRA connector, which is for your Sirius. And if you're upgrading to our RA4 system, that will also carry your GPS signal. Sometimes you can use a flathead screwdriver to press the tab to let it come out. The little white one is your AM FM radio. The little gray connector here is for your remote USB and then you have your main radio connector. You push the tab in and it slides right out. We're now gonna upgrade to the RA2 using all the exact same connectors. Um, this radio we offer pre-programmed to plug and play with all your existing, to match all your existing vehicle features. We now install the RA2 radio. As you can see, we're using the same exact bezel as the RA1. Uh, it uses the same connectors, same four screws to hold it in place, um, and it's pre-programmed to plug and play. So let's take a look at some of the features. It's a touchscreen system, um, AM, FM, XM radio. XM radio obviously requires a subscription. The media, this would uh, be active if you had something plugged into the remote USB input. Um, it is Bluetooth ready, so if you want to um, add Uconnect or Bluetooth, uh, this is a great option because all you'll need is our custom microphone to install behind this uh, and then route it somewhere in your vehicle, the microphone. Uh, you'll have a compass feature, settings, and more. This is a pretty big step up from the RA1 system. Um, so let's show you now the, the 8.4 inch screen, the RA3, which is the non-nav. And then the top dog, RA4, 8.4 inch screen. Now that we removed the RA2 system, we wanna to upgrade to the 8.4 inch screen, but you'll realize the cutout isn't gonna be the right size. So what we did here at OEM Auto Parts Co. 
is we custom design our own bezel. And th this will replace your interior part of your bezel using your HVAC controls, uh, your climate controls here, um, on our custom made bezel. And that will allow you to install the RA4, or RA3 and RA4 system. So let me show you how to do that. What we did is we re went ahead and removed the center console bezel and we brought it inside to make it a little bit more comfortable. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the 13 Phillips head screws that are, um, go around the perimeter of the radio. And then there's going to be four screws that hold in your climate control. We're going to take out those four screws and these 13 screws and we're going to replace it with our custom made bezel. Now that we have the interior part of this bezel removed, we're going to install the custom made one that we have. And you want to start from the inside or the outside and bring it into the inside. You want to make sure you don't pinch any wires while you're bringing it in. You'll notice all the screw holes line up. So you'll replace all those 13 screws. And then you're going to want to replace the HVAC or the climate controls from your old bezel onto ours. and use the same four screws. We now have the custom uh, interior bezel installed. You'll notice this one has the volume control switch, uh, the rotary volume control switch. That, um, not everybody is going to need this. If you have steering wheel volume controls, steering wheel vol uh, mounted volume controls, you won't need this. You can get this bezel without this, and it's a little bit cheaper on our website. Um, but if you do order the bezel and it has the volume control switch, you're going to need to install our T-harness. And it's really easy to install. Just plug it into the existing factory radio connector and clip it into place. And then you're going to want to um, route this little four pin connector down underneath and you're going to plug that into this, uh, this switch here where the wire coming off the switch. We'll now go ahead and plug in the RA3 8.4 inch screen into the same uh, radio frame uh, or dash frame with the exact same connectors, including our T-harness because we have the volume control switch. So we're going to plug this one in and snap it into place. The white plug is for AM FM radio. The little gray connector here is for your remote USB input if you have one. And the yellow plug is for your Sirius XM satellite radio. And this will also give you GPS if you um, upgrade to our RA4. This, has, this will allow you to use the existing antenna on your roof. And then we also include um, the purple switch, the purple connector here, which will emulate the 911 assist feature so you won't get error messages. Then we'll screw it right into place. Now we just plug all the existing connectors into the new bezel, including the volume control switch, the four pin, and it locks right into place. All right, now let's give it a shot. You'll notice the RAM Splash logo comes up immediately. We pre-program it to do so. You'll notice the volume control go up and down. The RA3 is an awesome system. Uh, it's a huge step up from the RA1 and 2 as you can see. Um, features AM, FM, and um, Sirius XM satellite radio. The media features uh, the USB input that you'll, um, if you have current remote USB input uh, and you have a smartphone or an, uh, or an MP3 player plugged into it, you'll be able to uh, use it through that. AUX through your 3.5 millimeter AUX port, um, Bluetooth streaming audio. If you want to pair a device, you would proceed there. Um, climate, you'll notice 
with your existing HVAC or climate controls, it'll mirror what you do manually. You can't actually control from the screen, but it's kind of cool to be able to see what settings are set and how hot or cold you have it. It does have built-in Bluetooth Uconnect. You can pair a phone as long as you have current Uconnect in your vehicle. All you have to do is repair your device and it will work plug and play with our pre-programmed system here. You have the settings feature which you can um, you know, alter or um, set whatever features you want. And then the Uconnect apps. Uh, if you want to turn this into a hotspot for your vehicle, we do sell the antenna on our website. Um, otherwise, that little purple connector we just plugged in will emulate the signal so you won't get error messages here. So this is the RA3 system. Um, great system. Um, the RA4 is similar, but it, uh, it's definitely a step up with the 3D navigation, uh, the serious travel length, the serious traffic, and so forth. Let's take a look. Now we replace the RA3 with the RA4, so let's check this one out. This is the best system that RAM offers. You'll notice it has a lot of similar features to the RA3. It is the 8.4 inch touchscreen, um, the AM, FM, but with FM radio, you'll notice over here there's a little HD. This is for HD radio, so the sound comes in crystal clear. The RA3 doesn't offer that. It does have Sirius XM radio with a subscription, of course. Media, same as the RA3, if you have a remote USB input, um, plug in your smartphone or your MP3 player and you'll be able to control it from the screen. If you don't have a remote USB input, we can provide you with one at an additional cost. Bluetooth streaming audio, SD card if you have that input, and as well as the aux. Climate, similar to the RA3, your climate controls will show It'll tell you how it's set, but you actually can't control it from the touchscreen. This has 3D with landmarks navigation. This is an awesome navigation system, one of the best ones out. Um, you'll notice it pinpointed our um, location immediately um, using that yellow connector in the back. Um, the RA4 plug -in, will plug and play with that yellow connector. Um, that pertains to the Sirius XM GPS antenna that's installed on the roof. Your phone feature uh, through Uconnect, you can pair it through this screen here. Um, you'll be able to also initiate and receive phone calls through this through this uh, feature here. Settings, as uh, same as the RA3, you'll be able to set um, all different features uh, in the vehicle through this settings menu. And then the Uconnect apps. Um, the RA4 system will offer the serious traffic and travel link feature with the subscription, of course. Wi-Fi hotspot through Uconnect. Um, you'll be able to, to get that set up if you have the right hardware. The travel link is pretty cool. Um, you'll get local fuel prices, movie listings, sports scores, uh, weather reports, a weather map will show radar, and the really cool feature is the XM traffic, which shows you um, you know, congestion in your area, um, you know, average speed, and how far away the accidents are, everything. Um, fuel prices is awesome. It tells you local fuel prices, um, which ones are the cheapest, how far away they are, uh, so on and so forth. That's really neat. Uh, weather, you can always keep uh, up to date with your weather uh, through the, the, um, the weather icon. Sports scores, the usual. Um, but anyways, this is the, the Mac Daddy right here. Uh, we sell a ton of these. Go to our website for more information. We can get you set up with everything you see here. All pre-programmed to plug and play. We work alongside navrepair.com for programming, uh, for anti-theft codes, uh, you name it, we, we work with them. We also offer front cameras, rear cameras, side cams. Um, if you want to mirror your smartphone to show up on the screen, we can do that. If you want to add a DVD player or a CD player, um, these are all possibilities. And if you go to our website or give us a buzz, we'll be able to walk you through it and get you all set up. So thanks for watching the video. Please uh, reach out to us if we can uh, help you with anything at all. Thanks.